this is Neil with Catalyst Machine Works and I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to get your Tyrannus radio communicating with your Catalyst bind and fly system. This tutorial is not going to go through the radio setup or bind procedure itself. You need to do those first. All right. If you need to know how to do those, go to our website, look at one of the product pages for one of our bind and fly systems. There'll be a manual there. Look inside the manual, there's going to be a section on how to set up the radio, step-by-step -step procedure, and also bind procedure. If you need some additional help, you can always go to YouTube and type in something like Tyrannus uh, bind procedure to XSR. That's the type of receiver we use in our system. That should give you some additional help. Also, we have a Facebook group of over 500 uh, members and owners of these machines. They're there to help you as well, or you can send us an email. All right, so the first thing you want to do is take your props off. Make sure to take your props off. It's very important. You don't want this thing to freak out um, and go and cut your eyeball up, and then you'll be missing an eyeball, and that's not a lot of fun. All right, so now you've got your props off. What you want to do is turn on your radio. All right. I've got my radio on. I know you guys can't see that, but you'll just have to trust me. So now we're going to plug in the lithium battery into the craft. So we got that done. They're both powered up. Next, take a USB cable, plug it into the flight controller on your craft, and then into your computer. You have to make sure that you've got uh, the proper drivers installed. If you don't, you won't hear that little boop, little boop. Okay, so if you've got the drivers installed, everything is communicating properly, go and open Betaflight. If you don't have Betaflight installed, you need to get that installed on your computer. It's free. All right, there we go, and connect. Move the crap, make sure everything's kosher, so we're good to go. First, go to your receiver tab. All right, move the channels around, move your sticks, see what happens. If you move your throttle and something else here moves, well, you've got it mapped improperly. Go to the channel map here and mess with these drop downs until it's mapped correctly. You gotta hit save every time you make a change. So if I go and change this, hit save. All right, so um, you wanna make sure the directions are correct. So when you push up on the throttle, the throttle bar should go to the right. When you push left on yaw, the yaw bar should go to the left and right. Uh, when you push right on the stick. If you go to your right stick and you push forward on pitch, the bar should go to the right. If you push back on pitch, the bar should go to the left. If you push left on roll, the bar should go to the left. And of course, if you push right on roll, the bar should go to the right. Now, uh, the next thing you want to do is look at your switches. Okay, so you're going to have arm, all right, you're going to have your mode switch. There's three modes. Okay, and then if you've got a beeper, you may or may not have a beeper. That's another switch. You want to remember when you when you set up your switches, which aux channel is corresponding to that switch. The reason for that is if we go over to the mode section and we look here, this is where we have assigned what switch is doing what. So for instance, I've got my arm switch on this craft set to aux 1. See this little tick? When I flip it, this moves. Okay. You want to make sure that you've got the drop down set on the auxiliary channel that you prefer to activate this particular mode. All right. Same goes with the various modes here. Okay, I've got that set. I've got my mode set on aux 2. Okay, so tinker around with these modes and switches until everything is doing is corresponding and reacting the way that you prefer. You can change this stuff. You can set it up how you want. You don't have to have the switches uh, where they're you know set by default from the factory. You can move those around if you'd like. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay, when you go to put the props on, make sure you put those props on correctly. Um, we've had customers put them on incorrectly. They go to arm the craft and the thing literally freaks out and becomes a dangerous missile. Uh, so make sure your props are on correctly. 